Congratulations, you made it. This is the final lesson, lesson number 12 in the Beginner Guitar 101 for Grown Ups series. This is the end of our beginner journey together, but definitely not the end of your guitar adventure. Being able to play guitar has been one of the greatest joys in my life, and I want to encourage you to continue learning and improving. There are many options and paths you can take to getting better at the guitar. I want to share a few of them with you and give you some ideas to keep going. One option is to find a private teacher in your local area. Now, this can be a great option, but there are some pitfalls. I've created an entire blog post that'll help you avoid some of those pitfalls, as well as give you things to look for in a teacher, ideas on how to search for one, and even a checklist that you can download and use to evaluate possible teachers for yourself. I'll include a link to that post at the end of this video if you're on my blog post. If not, head over there and you'll find a link to this and some other helpful links. Another possibility is you can find many free guitar lessons on the web, including uh, I've created many lessons myself on my blog, thomasmichaud.com. You can head over there and check out and see what you'd like to work on. Of course, the advantage to this is they're all free. The downside is you're not going to really have a, a path that you can take step by step, and you won't have the feedback to know if you're doing something properly. If you want to accelerate your guitar progress, join my membership site, Real Guitar Success. You'll have access to hundreds of some of the best video instruction on the web, as well as either a step-by-step -step approach or a choose-your-own-adventure approach, depending on your needs. You'll also be able to ask questions during our live trainings and be able to get feedback anytime from either the community or myself. You can find out more about it at realguitarsuccess.com. No matter which path you choose, I encourage you to make time to practice a little bit each day. You can find some articles on my blog about how to set up a practice space, how to organize your practice time, and even suggestions of things to practice in the beginning stages. I'd encourage you to set some goals and keep working towards them. Stay motivated. Thanks again for joining me in this short journey. I hope I've inspired you to achieve your guitar goals. I wish you many years of learning and playing guitar, both for yourself and the enjoyment of others. Bye for now.